After all settlement and heavy breakfast we were ready to explore Otter Hampi, which includes Anigundi Fort, Ranganatha Temple, Pampa Sarovar, Kishkintha Old Bridge, Anjaneya Parvat and Anjanadari, birthplace of Lord Hanuman is near to Anigundi. Ranganath Swami Temple, Anigundi. In front of the temple on the other side of the road is a wooden chariot which is used for procession of Lord Ranganatha during Ranganatha festival in April every year. Ranganath Swami Temple is the most important temple in Anegundi as it was patronized by the Anegundi kings. The temple is located strategically at the center of the town. Here the main deity is Lord Vishnu who reclines on a serpent called Adisesha. The temple also houses Goddess Lakshmi and Gudevi. At the entrance of the temple we can see a brass tower which is typical of South Indian temples. Then public was in mood of enjoying coracle ride. The coracle, also known as dong, is a bowl shaped boat made of reed, saplings and hide. For one of the most tea, thrilling boat rides complete with whirlpools go for a fun-filled coracle ride on Tungabhadra river. Riding in a coracle on the Tungabhadra is a really thrilling experience. Anjaneya Hill. This hill in Hampi believed to be the birthplace of Hanuman, is located in the center of Anigond area. You can see this hill from the Hampi Sid. E of the river as you trek along the Camp of Gooks's path. The view from the hilltop is marvelous. Patches of paddy fields looks like a solved jigsaw puzzle, coconut tree plantations and the whole of tea. He ruins sites is visible stretching into the horizon. Looking at the ruins from here you would know the reason why they chose this place as their capital. All around in the horizons are the rugged road, CKY mountains and at one side in the mighty Tungabhadra river. It was a naturally secluded strategically important location for a capital city. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get latest upload information on our channel.